गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट नाउ टुडे वी स्टार्ट वन न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टेन सर्कल यू नो व्हाट इज सर्कल सर्कल इन एथ स्टैंडर्ड वी नो अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सर्कल द सेट ऑफ ऑल द पॉइंट सपोज वन टू थ्री द सेट ऑफ ऑल द पॉइंट्स in given plane suppose this plane is at at equidistant suppose the given point is p this point p is a given point the set of all the points from a given point at equidistant equidistant means this all the distance are same right this set or a group of point From a given point at equal distance in a plane is known as circle. So this is the definition of circle. And then we can say that the some important part of the circle. Suppose we know about the radius from a given point that is known as center. Equal distance that is known as radius and chord means a line segment. Suppose this is a line segment. Both the ends of this line segments are touch the circle. Means a line segment with both the ends lies on the circle. That is known as chord. Means radius, diameter, and chord of the circle. Means we can say that a line segment. Which both the ends lies on the circle that is known as chord, and the biggest chord, chord. Suppose this is a circle. This is the biggest chord, highest length. That is known as when passing from center. That is known as diameter. That is known as diameter. Symbolically, it is d from center to this radius, and then suppose a circle, a line intersect circle. Suppose line L intersect A and B. That is known as secant, right? That is known as secant of the circle. But when a line which touches the circle. Suppose a line which touch the circle, a line which touch the circle at only one point, right? That is known as tangent of a circle. Tangent of a circle. Tangent of a circle. A line which touch the circle at one and only one point. Suppose this is tangent. This is tangent. This is tangent. All these. Points where the line is touch the circle that is known as tangent of the circle. By using this definition, right? I will just introduce you one theorem number ten point one. Now, what is theorem number ten point one? Suppose the point or the tangent at any point of the circle is circle. Right, tangent at any point. Suppose this point is P. Okay, this point is P. Point of contact. I, a tangent, is of the circle perpendicular the radius through the point of contact. Radius perpendicular means suppose this is the radius. Right. So tangent at any point perpendicular to the radius from the point of contact. Means you want to prove that is center. Suppose any point Q is lies on the other. So what is OP? OP is a radius of the circle. What is this? Right. Now point Q lies outside, not on the circle. Then we can join this OQ. So. OQ is greater than OP. 
मीन्स ओपी इज शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस राइट शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस इज ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलर राइट सो वी कैन से दैट दिस लाइन करेक्ट मान सपोज दिस लाइन एक्स एंड वाई सो दिस एक्स वाई इज परपेंडिकुलर टू OP, OP is perpendicular to एक्स वाई करेक्ट सो दिस इज थियरम नंबर टेन पॉइंट वन ए लाइन मीन्स इट टच द सर्कल टेंजेंट इज ऑलवेज रेडियस परपेंडिकुलर टू द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट ए पॉइंट क्यू लाइज आउट साइड ओ क्यू इज ग्रेटर देन ओ पी ओ पी इज द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस लाइन एक्स वाई इट इज परपेंडिकुलर एंड यू फर्स्ट राइट द हेडिंग चैप्टर नंबर टेन सर्कल्स एंड थेरम नंबर टेन पॉइंट वन यू राइट ऑन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड एट राइट पेज टू जीरो एट थेरम नंबर टेन पॉइंट वन एंड अप टू राइट ओपी इज द परपेंडिकुलर टू एक्स वाई एट लास्ट यू राइट ओपी इज परपेंडिकुलर टू Up to here, you will write and draw the figure. Next time we start exercise. So today you write ten point one theorem. This is the most important theorem. Every year they will ask prove that the point of contact to radius is perpendicular. So you can write theorem number ten point one in your class work by writing the heading number chapter number ten heading is circle. Okay. Next time we start exercise from this lesson.